Hello people, this is Cedric Tan, the Chief. Now yesterday I was cleaning out my fridge and found some relics that overstate their welcome. Mooncakes from last year. Now call me crazy, even though I know most of you will tell me not to, I think I'm still gonna try some of these mooncakes. Now let's see what we've got. Wu Ren Yue Bei, or the Mixed Nuts Mooncake, which I received last year from the Four Seasons Singapore. Okay, I'm gonna turn to these now. Ugh. Okay, no wonder they are still looking okay because the packaging is just impossible. I think germs and fungus probably couldn't penetrate the packaging. Okay? Let me try again. Oh! Okay. It's not the strength, it's the execution. With scales like opening packaging, you would never have to go hungry. Still smells very good. I mean, you expect a bit of rancid smell, but it smells like it just came out from the oven yesterday, even though it probably was more than a year ago. Okay, I'm gonna cut it up now. It's a little bit harder than I expected. Uh, right. So this is what it looks like. Um, no suspicious elements, no fungus of any kind, no white spots. Pastry is still intact, the filling is still, well, smelling okay, but I must say it's heavily spiced. So um, not so sure if the taste is going to be okay, but I am sanguine and I'm just going to have a bite. Okay, so I'm going to cut a small slice and I'm going to try in just a little more. It's a very interesting nut recipe. It calls for um, five kinds of nuts and also ham. Now don't let egg so surprised because in Asia, meat is commonly dessert. You know, there's, there's no unpleasant taste, unpleasant smell. Uh, everything still tastes like it should. I'm a bit positive that there probably isn't ham in this, which is well, disappointing. I like ham of all kind. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know whether it's the dry pastry uh, or the, the sweetness and the heavily spiced filling that is retarding um, the generation in this mooncake, but it actually tastes pretty damn good one year on. So yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy this for the next few days. Okay, let's find out what we have next. Oh, well this one is uh, more traditionally well received by Singaporeans. It's a uh, white lotus seed paste. Uh, white lotus seed paste is widely used for all manners of um, uh, dessert in Singapore. And I, I like it. I find it a bit sweet, but it's okay. And in mooncakes, it's usually um, paired with salted egg yolks and uh, melon seeds. Um, I personally am ambivalent towards salted egg yolks. But um, I do miss the good old days whereby they put lots of melon seeds in these mooncakes. These days, I think melon seeds, the most humblest of ingredients, are just so hard to come by. They don't. They almost never put it in mooncakes anymore. So, um, well, this one probably is just white lotus seed paste. We shall have a taste and I'll report more. Okay, let's do it right this time. See? With proper skills in package opening, you will not grow hungry in the modern world because everything is just behind plastic wraps. All you need to do is to tear it open and then that's it, you have it. You can survive the greatest famine in the world. Ah! 
It's clean. So there's no salted egg yolk in this and there's melon seeds. My favorite. Nope. The little bits there are the melon seeds and they are the best things in mooncake. Often forgotten and the most unappreciated ingredient in modern day mooncake. But I tell you, they make this taste heavenly. Mm. Now, I'm going to cut a small piece to try. Again, please don't try this at home because it might be potentially debilitating. <sighs> okay, smells fresh. Mmm, mm. the crunch of the melon seeds are incredible. This is so satisfying. I cannot even remember when was the last time I bit into a mooncake and there was melon seeds. And melon seeds is, is the thing. It makes, it elevates mooncakes to the next level. Simply because it's so rare. But, you know, um, also, of course, you know, it's the taste of childhood. We grew up in the 80s and 90s. Uh, expecting melon seeds in mooncake, but today they simply just don't add it anymore because it's such a difficult, uh, troublesome ingredient to harvest, maybe. Mm, very good. I'm definitely going to enjoy this for the next few days. Hmm, now I've got one last one to try. Oh, okay. This, I remember, it came from Shang Palace at Shangri-La, Singapore, and uh, one of my favourite Chinese restaurants in Singapore. Uh, and it's made with a very special ingredient, bird's nest. It's one of the most expensive ingredients in the world, and today you find it in mooncakes as well. Okay, I'm going to do the right thing. Yes. still smells really good after one year. I mean, it's got the buttery fragrance from the pastry and the wonderful aroma of egg custard. Um, and these are the ingredients I always like in, in uh, desserts. But uh, I think I'm going to pass on these because I know the ingredients are eggs, milk and butter. And these are things that can really wreak havoc inside a human being, especially after one year since they were made. So unless I'm a bird or a very hungry bear, or perhaps ants. Uh, I don't think any human being should be trying these one year later. Oh, and durian mooncakes are my favorite. I mean, the Mao Shan Wang variety, of course. I mean, you go for the best, right? Merit just sent me a box yesterday and the smell was just intoxicating. Uh, Merit at Tang's. Um, one Hao restaurant, you know, one of the best in Singapore. And I think the Pan Pacific make them too. Uh, and mm, I think that was good. But they, they make that big, so uh, you have to finish a whole piece this size once you cut into it. But, uh, well, I don't think you stop for, you know, there's no reason to stop once you start, right? Uh, and, uh, oh, I think Four Seasons make them too, and deaths are not too bad either. Not so sure if they're going to do it this year. But, um, yeah, last year, <laughs> that was really good. So, I have eaten year-old mooncakes and uh, maybe that could garner a like from you or even better if you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're working really hard here to make original content so that we can have your subscription and then our numbers can be decent and before long we can monetize the content and I can perhaps do this for a living. You know, whatever happened to being honest. And I'm happy to let you know that we are in the midst of producing our annual Mooncake video, which we've been doing since 2017. Um, this year is going to be more fun because I'm going to be demonstrating some traditional recipes, um, Mooncakes that I've been making since 2001, 19 years ago. So, you know, would be really good if you can just subscribe to our channel so that you never have to miss a post. And National Day is in 3 days, so we will be producing another video on traditional local delights in red and white that you can enjoy over this long weekend holiday. So please look out for that as well.